Let's begin this first TNT series with a focus on the real-time rendering product provided within V5. I'm going to work on an assembly, a vent, and use the real-time rendering capabilities directly from Cadia V5 as it's seamlessly integrated. Clicking on the Apply Material icon opens the materials library. More than 200 materials are provided by default today. Fabrics, construction, wood, even plastic. And you can navigate on the different materials, then zoom and rotate the sample to get a preliminary look. To apply a new material on the dashboard, you just have to drag and drop the material icon on the part. So far, you have seen the assembly with a CAD rendering. To activate the view with a real-time, photorealistic rendering, go in the toolbar and select the shading with material icon. Now the assembly is displayed with a brown plastic rendering on the slots and the black leather rendering on the dashboard. At the bottom of the material library, you can see a box called Link to File. This option will enable you to keep a link between the material, which has been applied on the assembly, and the library. Checking this box will enable you to switch material very easily later on. If you are not familiar with the V5 interface, I've just pressed the F3 button to show the product structure. Now let's take a look at the leather we've just applied. To do so, right-click on the material in the spec tree and click Properties. A panel appears with different tabs. These tabs enable a complete definition of the material, including mechanical and optical definitions, allowing a consistent definition of the materials you'll use during product development. Let's see now how this assembly will look with different materials. To do so, right-click on a part and select the Replace Material link. It will open a new window with the material library. We'll switch the black leather with a beige one and click OK. Then we'll do the same with the other parts and pick black plastic. The Apply to All Material option gives us the flexibility to change a given material everywhere it is already used. The texture of the beige leather is a little too big. We can change its size easily by doing a right click on the material, then clicking Properties and changing the texture size. Since DMU provides a complete set of applications that are all seamlessly integrated, we can benefit from the mechanism kinematics that have been defined earlier. By clicking on the replay icon and selecting an existing replay in the product structure, we are visualized the vent with real-time photorealistic rendering and moving parts. Remember that everything has been done without changing the application and without data translation. Now, if we would like to share the new proposal with sales and marketing, we'll save the product as a 3D XML file that will contain the geometry and additional information like the material appearance. Just by dragging and dropping, we can add this new proposal to a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation that can be used during a review meeting. d XML files are dynamic objects, so you can manipulate them live during the presentation. This ends our first tips and tricks on V5 real-time rendering capabilities. See you soon for another session.